Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. As you know, I'm still kind of handicapped because my right foot is in this kind of ski boot. <laughs> so, because of my tendon issues. In any case, um, it's also really miserable weather out there and uh, I just enjoy my time on the uh, sofa by just shooting like air guns that shoot with harmless things like rubber balls, like this here. Uh, or, you know, airsoft pellets. Uh, this is a lot of fun because you can do it indoor, at least when the wife is not home. <laughs> but the problem is that you will find these little white plastic balls and rubber balls all over the uh, apartment, all over the uh, living room. And that is, of course, something that uh, is hard to hide when the wife comes back home. <laughs> So, what I usually do is I build myself a target that catches them reliably, which isn't easy because most of them will go straight through like a cardboard box and then still be somewhere on the floor. So, I'm showing you today how to do it and we're not going to need a lot of things for this. Now, the first thing we're going to need is just an ordinary cardboard box. Just this size can be bigger, can be a little smaller, but not too much smaller. So cardboard box like this should be easy to find around Christmas time, right? And then we need some extra cardboard. Just anything, can be anything. Then we need a little bit of textile and that could be an old t-shirt or like in this case some kind of cleaning rags that I bought, like a ton of them on uh, Amazon. And we're gonna need some duct tape or any other tape like uh, you know, scotch tape or whatever you have. Also a knife is pretty handy, some scissors, and you also need something like a long pin. So I use this uh, old arrow, but you can also use any kind of uh, other pin that you can find in the household. And it also comes in handy if you have some of these uh, cardboard targets for air guns. If you don't have them, you can simply just, you know, put a spot on a piece of paper and fold it over, whatever. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we put our target on a cardboard piece and then we cut out the shape of it, just like so. Put something underneath so you're not cutting into the table. <laughs> Okay, so that's your frame. Now make sure that the target fits nicely inside with a little play. And now we're gonna need the whole thing again, but in this state, this time a complete piece, so not hollowed. Now we have this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like a round piece in the middle that we cut out so that it has enough space to shoot through. Like so. And now we take these two things together. So you can now already see that we'll later be able to slide the target into here. And then you have this to shoot at. Very simple. Now we take our frame and our cardboard box and we hold it against it. So we put it a little bit above the bottom, not all the way, just a little bit, but definitely on the lower part. And then we tape it in place. So as you see, you can then very simply slide in your paper target. Now you can leave this as it is, or you could also cut it open like so. So, now you can slide in the target. Now you can start shooting at it, but the problem is that it will go right through and even if you stuff it full with other cardboard, 
you will never really be able to get all the parts out again. So what we now do is we use our text type because the trick is that if you shoot something against a piece of textile that is hanging loose, it is able to really absorb a lot of energy. Where if you hit it here, it won't do it. But if it's hanging loosely, it will actually catch and soak up most of the energy involved. So the next thing that we're doing is we take a piece of cardboard that actually has the same width as the box about. Doesn't really matter so much. And what we do is we form a little triangle from it. And this is our little tube where later on we will simply put the arrow through as a handle. Now what we're doing is we put our textile up here and then we cut it about the length of the entire cardboard box, a little less than that maybe. Okay. All right, like so. And you're gonna have enough textile to cover the entire width of the whole thing. So in my particular case, this means we're probably gonna need three of these. And now what we're doing is, we're taping the ends of these three things to our little piece of cardboard here. And number three. Nicely in the middle. So you see they're hanging and I can shoot against it and it will absorb the energy. Nice. It is time for us to close our little box. Take it shut. And now we want to hang in the whole thing here into the inside. And therefore we're taking our arrow and we're going a little bit behind the uh, top and the left side like here. And we poke a hole through this and then we go as straight as we can about here, I'd say. Yeah. Okay, now you see the arrow is through. And now what we're doing is we put the whole thing into the box. So, and we put the arrow through the holo tube. And then we try to find the hole that we put in with our arrow here. Okay. And now what we have is a free swinging piece of, um, of tissue in here. Now what I recommend is that you also cut a little door into this here. Like here, right in the edge. And this is so that later on it will be easier to retrieve um, the ammo that, that's in here, so that you can reuse. So that we have a latch that we can open and close, like so. Okay, now basically the whole thing is finished. Let's test our various soft air weapons and see if it's working. As you see, the rear part has no holes at this point, so let's see if you can penetrate. And we're going to start by using my little 1911 model. I love it because it really is almost like the original. It is made from steel, it is even parkerized, it has the same functionality, everything is functional. Even if you disassemble it, everything is just like the real deal. The only difference is it's CO2 powered and it shoots a little plastic pellet. So let's see if this is going to work. Bang! You can actually hear it rattling. Condition one. <laughs> So as you see, the rear is completely unscathed. 
So it nicely caught all of them and they're still inside, of course. This one is really interesting, it's one of my favorites because it's obviously like a peacemaker. It still is a CO2 gun. But what I love is that it's actually 43 caliber, so almost as good as the original. Even the shells are like the same. You put in a little 45 caliber rubber ball into the, uh, into the cartridge. And then you can just put it into the barrel, into the drum, just like so. And then you basically have a full, a very nice 45 caliber gun. Let's see if our contraption holds the bullets back. I can hear it rattling. Definitely a success. Let's see if we got any holes in here. Nope, unscathed. Okay, the next one is the HDR50 by Humarex. Now, this one is um, interesting because it fires 50 caliber rubber balls. So these are really, really fat rubber balls. And of course, in Germany, you can only get it to seven and a half joule. It's a double action only, and it's much more powerful than the other one. Okay, let's see. You could really see how it shifts it back. But still, you can hear it well inside of the thing just because it can't penetrate the cardboard box because it's protected by the, by the strips. Okay, let's put in another cardboard target. This little baby. Yeah, it's like an HK416. I love this one because it really, really is reliable. Most of the full auto airsoft guns that I tried, tested were constantly jamming. Now this one can shoot single shots like, but it can also go full auto. <laughs> Isn't that great fun? And as you see, all of the bullets are staying in. Oh, one flew out. Probably from the angle that I was using. Okay change the target another time. And then let's retrieve all the ammo that we've lost so far. Roll it all to the front and then pour it in. And there we have them. We have the soft air pellets that can be reused. We have the, all the rubber balls, and those are like perfect in perfect condition. They're not flattened in any way. You know, these are the six shots that we have from the Umarex gun, so we can reload. And we can continue to shoot. <laughs> so, a fun little project, would you not agree? Now I can continue to shoot from my sofa against the cardboard box next to my TV. <laughs> I hope you like this because that's it for today. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs>